1941. I was, my mother was trying to keep me in diapers, and so that's what was happening in my world. Well, as you can imagine, what was happening was the Second World War, and I have no, of course, no recollection of that at all. But uh, we, we left Bolivia when I was five. My favorite pastime in the summertime, it's swimming and kayaking. Every time I'm about, I'm about to walk on stage, if I can walk off the stage feeling good about how I played, you've asked an impossible question. But if I had to, if you had a, held a gun to my head, I'd have to say Pablo Casals. I go through periods, you know, uh, right at the moment, I'd say for the last couple of years, I'd say Brahms. I don't know if I have, you'd have to ask my wife that. <laughs> I don't like to go on a diet to lose weight. Uh, I hate traveling, uh, especially nowadays. And otherwise I can't, I can't really think of things that I don't really like to do. You ask some really impossible questions. <laughs> uh, I've never thought of doing anything else I, because this, oh, this is all I've ever loved doing. That I have to get up and practice scales. Unfortunately, yes. My dreams were very much what what ha what I've done with my life, or what I'm doing now. And so I, I'm very privileged, very happy. My glass is always half empty because <laughs> I always want, I'm, I'm always looking for that refill. <laughs> uh, I think about music a lot and. and constantly going through my head, all the pieces that I'm conducting and playing, it's always going through my head. My heroes in the, in the world of violin were Heifetz, Milstein, Moistrach, Stern, Sigeti. Well, if you would ask my wife, it's that, that I'm, I'm very cranky and I, I'm in a, very often in a terrible mood. <laughs> Nobody ever sees that of me. <laughs> There's no magic formula for me. There's just hard work, a lot of hard work, and determination. Wow, we're really getting personal now. Uh, I love a great, great hot dog. <laughs> That's hard because I'm very self-critical. But I, I, I did one at once a, an album of, of a CD of all short pieces, encore pieces, which are the kind of pieces that I really love, and I'm very proud of that. Many. The future of classical music, when especially when you're in a place like this and hearing all these extraordinary players and young talent, the future of classical classical music is very bright and great. I think.